All right, it's pool test day, and boy, I got a really good one planned for today. It's subsurface twitch baits, which are phenomenal in this neck of the woods throughout the winter and early spring months. So this is prime time for this. I cannot wait to see how these baits look. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're back at my neighborhood pool. And if you remember the very first pool video I did here, it was in the winter time, like we are now, and the pool's full of leaves. Same situation here. Not exactly pristine, but the water is nice and clean. So this is gonna be really, really good for our pool test. Now let me show you what baits we got. Now listen, this is not an exhaustive list of subsurface twitch baits. Many, many more than what I got here. However, these are some of the most popular here in South Louisiana. So you'll at least get a good look at how these baits look underwater. First up is the Rapala Saltwater X-Wrap Twitchin' Minnow. This is a lipless version of the X-Wrap. I love the X-Wrap, the lip version. I've never fished this lipless version. Here's a Paul Brown's Original. These baits were first called Corky's, but now they're called Paul Brown's Original. Very closely related bait, Paul Brown's Fat Boy. Then the Miralor Miradine, an extremely popular bait here in South Louisiana. The Paul Brown's Softine, it's a basically a Miradine, it's just got a soft body. The H2O Express Hover Shad Softy. This is a very similar bait to some of these Miralor products, but we're gonna see how it looks underwater. The H2O Express Hover Shad, this is a hard plastic bait. And then a bait I pulled out of my tackle box that I use a ton this time of year, a Miralor 52MR. All right, so that's eight baits. This will give us a really good test. I don't know if they're gonna look all that much different underwater. They may look very, very similar, but let's find out. All right, high dollar YouTube channels have telescopic poles to use to shoot this underwater footage. I have a rake. There's my GoPro mounted on the end. High dollar YouTube channels also have well-paid assistants. I have my son, Joel. So free. <laughs> he's not making a thing, but he's happy to do it because you know why? He's as big a fisherman as I am and he wants to see how these baits look underwater. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. All right, just for starters, I'm throwing everything on the same rod. It's my seven foot three inch medium power Fitzgerald. It's a great twitch bait rod. Loaded on it is 15 pound test mono. Now a lot of times I like to throw twitch baits with fluoro, but I know more people use mono than fluoro, so that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so for each bait I'm going to do just a regular twitch. That's really how I fish twitch baits more than any other way. But I know a lot of people like to walk the dog underwater, and so I'll do that on the last series of twitches. And first up is this Rapala Twitching minnow. Now, obviously, you can see right off the bat a major difference between this bait and some other ones. It doesn't have treble hooks. So I don't know if that's going to make those fish stay on there longer or not. And we won't be able to determine that today because I don't expect I'm going to give them any bites. But keep that in mind. This bait looks really, really good. We're going to see how it looks underwater. Okay, I've never fished the lipless version of this bait, but I got to tell you, that is going to change. I can't wait to get this thing on the water. I love how it suspends in between twitches. I also like the sound that it makes, the really noisy bait underwater. Now how the bait looked while walking the dog was kind of middle of the road. Some baits look better than this one, but it's still not too bad. All right, I got the scores for this pool test set up as ranks. So remember, lowest point total wins. Also, I doubled the value of the twitch factor because to me, it's just the most important element. All right, next up is the Paul Brown's original. This bait is now made by Miralore. It was originally called a Corky. It's the same design. Very, very popular, particularly in Southwest Louisiana and throughout Texas. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I can see why this bait is so productive. It's erratic and looks really good underwater. Really, you never know where it's going to go on each twitch. Do I like it as much as I like the X-Trap? Mm, maybe not quite, but pretty darn close. This is a good looking bait. Now, it wasn't the easiest bait to walk the dog with. It kept wanting to rise to the surface and also was just a little bit clunky. All 
All right, next up is the Paul Brown's Fat Boy. Very similar bait to the Paul Brown's original, except it's just a whole lot fatter. Also has a rattle inside of it. All right, the Fat Boy is definitely less erratic than the traditional Paul Brown's original. So I just don't like it quite as much. I do, however, like the sound of the bait. You can definitely hear those rattles clicking inside the chamber. Now the bait was much easier to work in walk the dog fashion than the traditional Paul Brown's original. All right, next up is an extremely popular bait here in South Louisiana. It's a Mirlor Miradine. Now they make this bait in an XL, which is a, a much bigger, more substantial bait, but this is not the XL, this is a smaller one. But I can tell you, don't be fooled with the size of this bait. It catches some really big speckled trout. Let's see how it looks underwater. All right, let me start with the positive on the Miradine. It's definitely got some good sound. You can hear those rattles. Not surprising for a hard plastic bait. But the bait is just really streamlined. It's not erratic. It kind of went in the same motion every twitch. And I could see that from above the pool surface. Now a positive is that it was really easy to walk the dog with this bait. It looks pretty good. All right, here we got the soft version of the Miradine, called ironically enough, the Softine. This bait is designed to have a better mouth feel when a speckled trout hits it. It's also got some rattles in it. They're not very loud, but they are in there. Let's see if it looks any different than the Miradine. Now, I've never fished a Softine, but I've gotta say, I really like it more than the traditional Miradine. It's much more erratic. It looks really good underwater. Interestingly enough though, the bait was not that easy to walk the dog. It kept rising to the surface and I just couldn't get a good rhythm going with it. All right, this is an H2O Express Hover Shad Softy. It's a much less expensive bait than the Paul Browns. Let's see if it looks as good. All right, this bait I thought performed pretty well, particularly for the price. It's much cheaper than the mirror lures. And I don't think there's a dime's worth of difference between this bait and the softine. I do have to say, however, the bait seemed easier to walk the dog with. I got a good cadence going and it really behaved well. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad, and by Fitzgerald Fishing, and by Cito New Orleans, and by Versamax Quartz, and by Death Grip Jig Heads. All right, next up is the hard version of the H2O Express Hover Shad. Got some subtle rattles in it. Let's see how it looks underwater. Now the hard plastic Hover Shad, I actually preferred to the hard plastic Miradine. This bait looks really good. It's got a lot of erratic action. And certainly a whole lot of sound. I'm sure you can hear that. Now walking the dog with this bait, ah, it just wasn't the best. Again, difficult to get a good cadence going and the bait kept rising to the surface. All right, last up is a Miralore 52MR. This is one I pulled out of my tackle box. You can see it's battle tested. It has been around the block a few times with me, but this is an excellent bait this time of year. I've caught a lot of fish on it. Let's see, hopefully it looks good underwater. All right, this has been a staple of mine for years, but man, I was just really unimpressed with the 52MR. 
Doesn't mean you can't catch fish on it. Trust me, you can. I just think now there are some better options. The bait pretty much just does the same thing over and over and over again. Also, you have to fish it really slowly to keep it from rising up to the surface. And as far as walking the dog goes, forget about it. It's just almost not even possible with this bait. It doesn't look good. All right, at this point, you've already seen the underwater footage, but I haven't. But just watching these baits from above the water surface, some are really, really impressive. And I can tell you <laughs> what it's done more than anything is make me want to go right now and go throw twitch baits. It is so much fun when those fish nail it and just rip the rod out of your hands. There is nothing like it. Maybe the only thing that's superior to it is catching fish on topwater baits, but this is a very close second. And at least from above the water surface, I was very impressed with some of these, but we're gonna see how they look underwater. And hopefully that helps you to make some better purchases when you're heading out to go fishing. Well, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post. And until next time, we don't see you lounging by the pool or in the marsh. We'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Now, a lot of times I like to throw fluoro with twitch baits, but I know mono is much more commonly used. So I wanted to use what more people use than what I use. <laughs> this is the word use a lot. <laughs>